I wanna get to the bottom of one question, and maybe I'll finally find out why Matt Roloff screwed over his sons. Matt surprised me when he put 16 acres of land up for sale, and then he pissed off Zach and Jeremy by saying he tried to offer them a deal on the property before he announced the sale. A few months ago, Zach wrote to his father, This post is extremely misguided and false. My dad is manipulating the narrative right now before season 23 comes out. Zach concluded by simply blasting his parent. Once again, like he has for most of his life, not taking responsibility for his own actions and blaming others. By stirring up family drama in the aftermath, Matt didn't show much remorse for how he acted, and finally, I know why. I saw Roloff post a series of photos on Instagram a couple of days ago with Christmas wishes. And then I saw that near the end of his post, Matt added a note about his Cameo account. For those looking for a last-minute holiday gift, Roloff has been pushing his page on this platform, which allows people to pay a celebrity for a recorded video message. I'll be available to record last-minute cameos as Christmas gifts to those who need a personalized Happy Holiday or Merry Christmas greeting to a friend or a loved one, wrote Matt. Just be sure to provide lots of details in your requests so I can make the greeting as personal as possible. There is a cost, so don't get your feelings hurt if I can't do these requests for no charge. These are reserved for those that want to make the investment. After Christmas, I'll be going back to the five-day turnaround. But up until Christmas night, I'll turn them around pretty quickly. Go to cameo.com, search Matt Roloff. It seems like a strange thing to me to include an after-Christmas-themed post. Although I can't help but wonder, what if Matt Roloff is desperate for money? It explains a lot about why he put the farm up for sale and waited for someone to offer a high price. And it explains why he didn't give a discount to one of his sons. And then, recently, Matt announced that the farm is no longer for sale, but is being leased on a long-term lease. We realize this staycation-style homes aren't for everyone, but it's my hope many families will be able to pull together and have family reunions in this home, Matt wrote at the time. Who knows, maybe even our family will reunite one weekend at the old house. At this point, we are not living yet, but working feverishly to get it ready before the year ends. Put your name on the list and stay at rolloffarms.com. Love to all! Folks, thank you for staying with us all this time. Happy New Year to you all! Sincerely wish you that the upcoming year will be better than the previous one.